Welcome, dears. There exist stereotypes concerning the countries situated below Egypt on the map, often associated with poverty, infections, crime, and bad infrastructure. While these issues are real, there's another side to Africa, one that is safe, developed, and breathtakingly beautiful. Namibia epitomizes this alternate narrative where we find ourselves today. Located in the southwestern part of Africa, near South Africa, Namibia may seem small on the map, but its vastness is striking. Navigating Namibia poses challenges due to its sparse population and limited asphalt roads. Over 90% of the roads are unpaved, requiring specialized vehicles like SUVs, such as the Toyota Hilux, which boasts impressive off-road capabilities. Equipped with essential survival gear like a fridge, gas tank, and water canister, these vehicles ensure preparedness for remote desert travel. Driving in Namibia is a unique experience, with vast distances and empty roads offering a sense of solitude and tranquility. With a population density rivaled only by Mongolia, Namibia provides ample space for social distancing, particularly appealing amidst the COVID-19 pandemic. Embarking on a two-week journey through Namibia reveals its diverse landscapes and wildlife. The road is flanked by fences, separating vast farmlands and protecting animals from wandering onto the roads. Baboons, among other fauna, make unexpected appearances, reminding travelers of the untamed beauty of Africa. Language diversity adds another layer to Namibia's cultural tapestry. With over 30 languages spoken, these include indigenous languages such as Oshiwambo, Ojiherero, and Nama, including the unique clicking sounds of Nama, a language group indigenous to the region reflecting its diverse cultural heritage. English and Afrikaans serve as common languages, facilitating communication across diverse communities. Amidst Namibia's stunning landscapes and diverse wildlife, the country is also home to some of the world's oldest tribal communities, such as the Himba and San people. These indigenous groups have inhabited the region for thousands of years, maintaining their traditional way of life and cultural practices despite modernization. The Himba, semi-nomadic pastoralist people known for their distinctive red ochre hairstyles and intricate jewelry, offer a glimpse into a rich cultural heritage that has stood the test of time. Similarly, the San people, with their deep connection to the land and ancient hunting techniques, provide valuable insights into a way of life that predates modern civilization. Their resilience and adaptability serve as a reminder of the importance of preserving traditional cultures in an ever-changing world. Namibia, its contrasting landscapes and diverse ecosystems, as we explore the breathtaking dunes, rugged canyons, and diverse wildlife we'll uncover the hidden treasures and fascinating facts that make Namibia a truly unique destination. It offers travelers a myriad of experiences that go beyond the stereotypes often associated with Africa. From the arid deserts of the Namib to the lush savannas of Etosha National Park, Namibia boasts unparalleled natural beauty and wildlife diversity. The iconic Namib Desert, one of the oldest deserts on Earth estimated to be around 55 to 80 million years old, is characterized by its towering sand dunes. Home to some of the world's tallest and most captivating sand dunes, some of which reach heights of over 300 meters. These majestic formations, tinted with deep dark colors, owe their hue to the oxidized iron that has accumulated over thousands of years. It's a sight to behold but best experienced in the cool morning hours to avoid the scorching midday heat. As we venture deeper into the desert, we encounter the Ezrium Canyon, a narrow gorge carved out by the Sushab River over millions of years. Despite its arid surroundings, the canyon provides a lifeline for unique wildlife adapted to survive in the harsh desert environment, wildlife including oryx and zebras, with water reservoirs forming at its base during the rainy season. Sosus Vle stand as a testament to the desert's timeless beauty. A salt and clay pan surrounded by red dunes is a highlight for photographers and adventurers alike, offering surreal landscapes and breathtaking sunrises and sunsets, inviting travelers to immerse themselves in nature's grandeur. Deep beneath the Namib Desert lies the world's largest underground lake, the Sumeb Mine Lake. 
Discovered in the early 20th century during mining operations, this vast subterranean lake contains pristine water that has been isolated from the surface for millions of years. Its unique ecosystem supports rare species adapted to the extreme conditions of darkness and isolation. Another intriguing phenomenon awaits us in the form of the fairy circles, mysterious patterns that dot the landscape like nature's artwork. While scientists debate their origins, theories range from plant competition for water to the activities of termites to vegetation patterns, adding to the mystique of these enigmatic circles. Many plants and animals in the Namib Desert have evolved unique adaptations to survive in its harsh conditions. Examples include the fog-basking beetle, which collects water droplets from fog on its body, and the Welwitchia plant which can live for centuries despite receiving minimal rainfall. Namibia is home to the ancient Welwitchia mirabilis, a unique plant species often referred to as a living fossil. These remarkable plants can live for over 1,000 years are endemic to the Namib desert. With only two permanent leaves that continue to grow throughout their lifespan, Welwitchia plants have adapted to survive in arid desert conditions making them a symbol of resilience in the harsh Namibian landscape. Our journey takes us to the Caesarean campground, where encounters with blue wildebeests and innovative camping techniques, like a car-mounted washing machine, highlight the ingenuity and adaptability of travelers in this rugged terrain. As the sun rises over the Namib dunes, we are treated to a spectacle of light and shadow, casting a spellbinding array of gradients across the landscape. Below lies the Dead Vlay, a hauntingly beautiful expanse of clay pan dotted with ancient acacia trees, remnants of a bygone era when a river once flowed through this now desolate landscape. But Namibia's wonders extend beyond its natural beauty, offering glimpses into its rich cultural heritage and unique way of life. From encounters with springbok antelopes to the discovery of rubies in the red sands, Every moment is a testament to the country's diversity and allure. As we journey northward, we encounter Walvis Bay, a major port city and industrial center located on Namibia's central coast. The coastal wonders of Walvis Bay are stunning, where flamingos and seals converge in a vibrant display of life along the shore. Here, the ocean's edge meets towering dunes, creating a dynamic landscape that is both awe-inspiring and humbling. Flamingos and pelicans, making it a popular destination for bird watching and water sports, with over 700 bird species recorded in the country. Birding hotspots include the Atosha National Park, the Caprivi Strip, and the Walvis Bay Wetlands, the Caprivi Strip, the Okavango Delta, and the Namib Nakluft National Park. In the Namib Desert, visitors can embark on a living desert tour a community-based conservation tourism, where local communities are involved in managing and benefiting from wildlife reserves and natural resources. This approach has helped to conserve biodiversity while providing economic opportunities for rural populations, making it one of Africa's premier safari destinations. Also, never forget to mark as it's a photographer's paradise, where patience and perseverance are rewarded with glimpses of nature's most elusive creatures. As we delve deeper into the wilderness of Itosha National Park, famous for its salt pan, attracts a diverse array of wildlife which becomes a vast, shallow lake during the dry winter months having heavy rainfall. It's also home to unique desert-adapted species like the oryx, springbok, we are rewarded with sightings of Africa's iconic wildlife, from elusive desert elephant and the resilient desert lion, giraffes, aimed at protecting endangered species. Sanctuary for the largest population of free-roaming black rhinos in the world. Conservation efforts, including community-based rhino monitoring programs and anti-poaching initiatives, have helped protect these endangered animals. The Cheetah Conservation Fund, located near Achiwarongo, works to conserve cheetah populations. This excursion offers insights into the desert's fascinating ecosystems and the unique adaptations of its inhabitants, such as sidewinder snakes and desert chameleons, demonstrating remarkable resilience and resourcefulness. Their ability to thrive in such extreme conditions showcases the ingenuity of nature and offers a glimpse into the intricate balance of life in one of the world's driest regions. 
But amidst the beauty and splendor, Namibia also holds a stark reminder of nature's power and unpredictability. Skeleton Coast is one of Namibia's most iconic regions. This desolate stretch of coastline is known for its fog, treacherous conditions, and stark beauty. Along the desolate shores of the Skeleton Coast, notorious for its eerie shipwrecks and scattered bleached bones. It gets its name from the whale and seal bones that litter its shores, serve as silent testaments to the harsh realities of life in this unforgiving landscape. These ghostly remnants of maritime history serve as haunting reminders of the treacherous conditions that sailors faced navigating this unforgiving coastline. Each wreck carries its own story, shrouded in mystery and intrigue, drawing adventurers and historians alike to uncover their secrets buried beneath the shifting sands. Yet, amidst the desolation, life finds a way, as resilient plants and coastal lions defy the odds to thrive in this harsh environment. It's a reminder that even in the face of adversity, there is beauty to be found and stories to be told. Namibia is home to the Namibrand Nature Reserve, Africa's largest private nature reserves, spanning over 200,000 hectares of pristine desert wilderness, and is renowned for its stunning landscapes, makes it largest dark sky reserves in the world. With minimal light pollution and clear night skies, this reserve offers unparalleled stargazing opportunities. Visitors can witness the breathtaking beauty of the Milky Way and countless stars, immersing themselves in the wonder of the universe. The Nami Brand Nature Reserve and the Gamsberg Mountain Observatory offer excellent opportunities to observe the night sky. It is dedicated to conservation and sustainable tourism, offering visitors the opportunity to experience the Namib Desert's beauty while supporting conservation efforts. In the heart of the desert, we encounter the challenges of traversing remote landscapes, where skilled drivers and ancient instincts are essential for survival. From the rugged terrain of Sandwich Harbor to the towering peaks of Spitzkopa Mountain, every turn offers new adventures and unforgettable experiences. Landscapes are dotted with unique rock formations sculpted by wind and water over millions of years. Near the town of Keetmanshoop, visitors can explore the giant's playground, a fascinating geological formation of dolerite rocks that resemble a giant's chessboard. Guafelfontein Bushman Art is a UNESCO World Heritage Site known for its extensive collection of ancient rock engravings, some of which are believed to be over 6,000 years old. The site provides a glimpse into the lives of early hunter-gatherer communities s, providing valuable insights into prehistoric cultures, providing insight into the lives of Namibia's earliest inhabitants. Spitzkop, also known as the Matterhorn of Namibia, is a prominent granite peak rising dramatically from the surrounding desert plains. It is a popular destination for rock climbers and hikers. Brandberg Mountains offer excellent opportunities for rock climbing and bouldering. Climbers can tackle a variety of routes amid stunning desert scenery. Apupa Falls The Apupa Falls, situated on the border between Namibia and Angola, are a series of picturesque waterfalls formed by the Kunene River. The falls are surrounded by stunning scenery and are a popular tourist destination the Petrified Forest. In Namibia's Kunene region lies the ancient Petrified Forest, where massive tree trunks have turned to stone over millions of years. These petrified trees, estimated to be around 280 million years old, provide a glimpse into prehistoric landscapes and the geological processes that have shaped the Earth over millennia. Namibian Meteorite The Gibeon Meteorite, discovered in Namibia in 1836, is one of the largest known iron meteorites. Fragments of the meteorite are prized by collectors and are renowned for their unique crystalline structure. Luteritz Peninsula The Luteritz Peninsula, located along Namibia's southern coast, is known for its rugged beauty and historical significance. It is home to landmarks such as Diaz Point, where Portuguese explorer Bartolomeu Dias landed in 1488 during his expedition around the Cape of Good Hope. Luteritz, a coastal town with German colonial architecture, surprises visitors with its vibrant culture and unexpected residents. African penguins these flightless birds inhabit nearby islands, adding to Namibia's rich biodiversity. Cape Fur Seals Namibia's Cape Cross Seal Reserve is home to one of the largest colonies of Cape Fur Seals in the world. Visitors can observe thousands of seals basking on the beach and interacting with each other. Cape Cross Seal Reserve is home to one of the largest colonies of Cape Fur Seals in the world.
Swakopmund. The coastal town of Swakopmund is a popular base for fishing excursions. Visitors can enjoy activities such as quad biking, sandboarding in sandy beaches, and outdoor activities, and fishing with species like yellowtail, snook, and cob attracting anglers from around the world, Namaqualand. Namaqualand is a semi-arid region that spans parts of Namibia and South Africa. It is famous for its spectacular wildflower displays during the spring months when the landscape is transformed by colorful blooms, attracting visitors from around the world. Arriving at Namibia is home to some of the world's most unique geographical features, Fish River Canyon, the second largest canyon in the world after the Grand Canyon. This immense gorge stretches over 160 kilometers and plunges to depths of up to 550 meters, offering breathtaking vistas and unparalleled hiking experiences. Nearby, the abandoned town of Kolmanskop, ah, ghost towns, offers a glimpse into Namibia's diamond mining past, now reclaimed by the encroaching desert. In addition to Kolmanskop, Namibia is home to several other ghost towns, remnants of the country's mining history. Places like Elizabeth Bay and Pomona are now abandoned abandoned. Adventure Tourism Namibia offers a wide range of adventure activities, including sandboarding, quad biking, hot air ballooning, and skydiving, making it a popular destination for thrill-seekers. Namib Nauklift National Park This is one of the largest national parks in Africa, covering a vast area of over 49,000 square kilometers. It encompasses diverse landscapes, including the towering dunes of Sasasvle and the rugged mountains of the Nauklift Range. Kavango Zambezi Transfrontier Conservation Area The Kavango Zambezi Transfrontier Conservation Area Kaza TFCA, is one of the largest conservation areas in the world, spanning five southern African countries, including Namibia. It is home to diverse ecosystems and wildlife, including elephants, lions, and hippos Kalahari Desert. While not entirely located within Namibia's borders, the Kalahari Desert extends into the country's eastern regions. It is characterized by its red sand dunes, sparse vegetation, and diverse wildlife, including meerkats, gemsbok, and Kalahari Lions, Wild Horses of the Namib. Near the town of Aus, visitors can encounter the famous wild horses of the Namib Desert. These hardy animals have adapted to the harsh desert environment and roam freely in small herds Gemsbach National Park. Gemsbach National Park, located in the eastern part of Namibia, is known for its population of Gemsbach, Oryx, as well as other desert-adapted wildlife such as springbok and ostriches. Whether exploring the rugged landscapes of Damraland, tracking desert-adapted wildlife in Kayakoland, or cruising along the scenic skeleton coast, Namibia offers a wealth of experiences for intrepid travelers seeking adventure, culture, and natural beauty. Damraland and Kayakoland is a rugged and remote region in northwestern Namibia known for its wild beauty and traditional Himba communities. Travelers can explore the area's dramatic stunning landscapes, including towering sandstone mountains, rocky gorges, ancient valleys, and expansive plains. Dry riverbeds cultural diversity is another hallmark of Namibia, with 11 major ethnic groups and numerous smaller tribes calling the country home. Namibia is home to diverse ethnic groups, including the Himba, San Bushman, Herero, and Ovambo, each with their own unique traditions, languages, and customs. Namibia's cultural tapestry reflects a history of resilience, adaptation, and coexistence. Throughout the year, Namibia hosts a variety of cultural festivals celebrating its diverse ethnic groups. Events like the annual Himba Cultural Festival and the Damara Cultural Festival offer insights into Namibia's rich cultural traditions and heritage. Namibia's diverse cultures are expressed through traditional music and dance forms. Drumming, singing, and intricate dance routines are integral parts of cultural celebrations and ceremonies, showcasing the vibrancy and creativity of Namibian communities. The Herero people of Namibia are known for their distinctive traditional dress, characterized by voluminous Victorian-style dresses for women and military-style uniforms for men. These garments reflect the Herero people's resilience and cultural identity. Namibia's craft markets, particularly in cities like Windhoek and Swakopmund, offer a wide range of handmade crafts, including wood carvings, pottery, and jewelry. These markets provide opportunities to support local artisans and purchase unique souvenirs we are now encounter in Namibia iconic diamonds, aren't they in markets? No. Let's go mines that Sumab mine, located in northern Namibia, 
is renowned for its rich deposits of minerals and gemstones. Namibia is one of the world's top producers of gem quality diamonds. It has produced a wide variety of minerals, including rare specimens prized by collectors and researchers. The country's diamond mining industry plays a significant role in its economy, with responsible mining practices and environmental stewardship being priorities. Namibia's Diamond Coast is named for the diamonds that wash up on its shores. While diamond mining is restricted in certain areas, visitors can explore the coastline and sometimes find gemstones washed ashore. Namibia's Living Museums Yes, some Namibian communities, such as the San people, have established living museums to showcase their traditional way of life. Visitors can learn about hunting techniques, traditional dances, and cultural practices directly from community members. German Colonial Heritage Namibia's colonial history, particularly its period under German rule in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, has left a lasting impact on the country's architecture, cuisine, and language. Visitors can explore colonial-era buildings in cities like Windhoek and Swakopmund, taste traditional German-inspired dishes, German-style beer gardens and bakeries are popular among locals and tourists alike, offering a taste of Namibia's multicultural heritage. Namibia was once a German colony known as German Southwest Africa. Later Namibia gained independence from South Africa in 1990 after decades of struggle against apartheid rule. The country's independence marked the end of a long and challenging journey towards self-determination. The Independence Memorial Museum in Windhoek commemorates this historic event German colonial architecture. Windhoek, Namibia's capital city, features charming German colonial architecture blended with modern African influences. Visitors can explore historic buildings like the Christuskirche Christ Church and the Alta Fest, Old Fort, Museum, which showcase Namibia's colonial heritage and encounter remnants of the country's colonial past throughout their journey. Namibian Cuisine Namibian cuisine is influenced by indigenous African, German, and South African flavors and local ingredients. Popular dishes include biltong, dried cured meat, kapana, grilled meat, and potjiakos, a traditional stew cooked in a cast iron pot. Mealy pap, maize porridge, exploring Namibia unveils natural wonders like the quiver tree forest, where ancient aloe plants stand like sentinels amidst the desert landscape. Weaver birds create intricate nests, forming vast communal colonies that dot the countryside navigating Namibia's gravel roads reveals a well-maintained network, thanks to graders that ensure a smooth ride despite the dusty conditions. Speed limits and safety measures mitigate risks associated with driving in remote areas. Namibia boasts numerous hiking trails for outdoor enthusiasts of all skill levels. From multi-day treks in the Fish River Canyon to day hikes in the Baderberg Plateau, there are trails to suit every preference. As a safe and welcoming destination, Namibia offers a truly unforgettable travel experience, inviting adventurers to explore its vast and diverse landscapes. As our journey draws to a close, we reflect on the wonders we have witnessed and the memories we have made along the way. Namibia may be a land of contrasts, but it is also a land of endless possibilities, where every twist and turn reveals a new adventure waiting to be explored. So, as you embark on your own journey through this remarkable country, remember to embrace the unexpected, cherish the moments, and let the spirit of Namibia guide you on an unforgettable odyssey through one of Africa's most captivating landscapes. Please don't forget to support our efforts of bringing you this video for you. Please subscribe, like, and share. Thanks for watching. I try to pick one thought, have some concentration And if I make a mistake, it's called education I try to do this every day, call it replication Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up, today's gonna be a good day